Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Audrey, I'm 20 years old and I am on the autistic spectrum. So before we get started, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and hit the notification bell so you don't miss one of my lovely videos. So let's get started. So today we're gonna decorate gingerbread houses. So you guys have never met this person. You probably don't even recognize that she is Hello. my sister and yes. yes. I dyed my hair last night but it's normally black. Yeah, <laughs> and uh, and we're, we are, we have the same parents. Yes, we do. She's adopted, just yes. to get any, uh, to, yeah. to get answer the elephant <laughs> in the room. So we're gonna show you guys what we have. We're gonna build hers and then come back. Okay. okay, we're back and we're gonna start decorating our houses. Okay, we're gonna do that first and then between Whoops. each time we're gonna ask a question as we go. Okay, first question. We're gonna go with the the one that should go first. Are you younger or older? I'm older. Um, we're three and a half years apart. I'm born September twenty fifth, two thousand, and she's born February two thousand four. Eighteen. Eighteen. And so um, she's <laughs> about to be seventeen, and then next year I'll be twenty one. So, this is my sister. Can you tell me a little bit about yourself? You know. Um, tell my people what's unique about you. I use all pronouns. I don't know if that's unique, but... Tell them an interesting fact that you love about yourself. Tell them how amazing you are. Um, I do archery. She's really smart. For fun. Am I? You are really smart. <laughs> she's so smart, I think she's going to be a doctor when she's older. Aww. I'm predicting it. I guess we'll see. So, um... She graduates next year, which is crazy. Yes, I could graduate this year if I really wanted to. Are you? No. <laughs> I like Halloween, I guess. That's another fact about me is I love Halloween. Tell them how what grade you're in and what you're studying in school. I don't know what grade I'm in. You're a junior. Oh, I'm a junior. I'm currently doing US history. I'm also doing physics and chemistry, which is She's fun. homeschooled. Yes, I am. I probably should have made that clear. <laughs> Oh Am I going to use all of them? I am so sorry, Eliana. Oh my god. Oh, I'm really... What? I'm really sorry, Eliana. I used them all. I knew something like that was going to happen. Wow, thank you for the support. You were using so little. Yeah, but look how well it worked for the top of it. Okay. Well, you're going to have to figure it out, honey. Thank you for your encouraging words. Do you want a piece of ladder? I have one, wait. No, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Ooh, this is pretty. I like it, it's very Christmassy. Okay. What is your favorite thing to do together? I honestly, what is our favorite thing to do together? And we like to go to Target. I mean, when we were younger, we would go to the mall, like all the time. Yeah, all the time. But that's kind of changed. We just hang out. We just do whatever, honestly. I don't yeah, think I have don't necessarily really have, like, a, a favorite, favorite thing. thing. No. Like, we have a very odd relationship. We so really do, but we love each other. We love each other. It's really unique. Um, I, I, you know, she doesn't really hang out with me much. So I'm busy with school. She is very busy to give her credit, but oh, I'm also doing algebra too. I forgot to say that. And I call her like 50 times a day. She would tell you I disagree. I haven't called her 50 times a day in a very in like a week. So yeah, no, I will give you credit for that. But, you know, I just really like her, and I miss her, because I don't live with her anymore, so. But we do live close by. We live, like, we live like a foot away. I got it. Okay. I am an independent woman. You say that all the gush time. I Every know. Every time. I ask her, hey, do you need help with the dishwasher? Or, hey, do you need help getting this glass down that she can't really reach? And she's like, no, I'm an independent woman. I'm I like, do. That's not what I ask. <laughs> or is it anything about? I don't know. I don't like getting, I like, I don't like when people ask me because it makes me feel like I can't do something and I think I can't even know that's not true. Literally, I only ask you because you're struggling a lot, some, like, on something for like a longer period of time and I'm just like, do you need help with that? I know you can do stuff. Obviously. She does. It's right. I just always ask if people need help instead of just doing it for them. Let's do some yellow. What did you what 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 did you think about me having autism growing up? How did it affect you? When I was younger, I didn't really understand. I just thought you hated me. 
she says this well, I never hated her. Was no, I, I love her now, but like as a child, I just didn't understand what autism was. What, yes, was I extremely mean to her? I'm not gonna lie to you. I was a horrible sister growing up. Well, I used to love you though. I was really mean. Yeah, you broke my Spider Man toy. I broke a lot of things. I like how, like, the only thing I'm like mad at you about is that Spider Man toy, because that thing was my baby, and I think we got it from the Dollar Tree, which makes it even funnier. <laughs> Yeah, whenever I was mad at her when I was little, I would go, or mad at anything, I just would, because I didn't want to break my stuff, so I went into her house, her room and just broke stuff. Yeah. I would just take things apart. I would just go, Psh. For the most part, though, it didn't really affect me like that stuff until you did, like, my Spider-Man. I did want, someone painted, like, drew her a picture, and I was mad at her, so I just teared it apart. And that, then I just, it's still in my room. I just taped it back together, and I'm like, yeah. how dare you? All right, let's tape it back together the future you're probably going to be helping me out after mom and dad die do you want to do that like do you or do you not i mean as long as you're not like i have to do everything for you obviously i'm going to be more independent at that time but like or like i'm willing to help out like mom and i recently were talking about the panama property and do you want the panama property and or should they just give it to me in their will mm -hmm. i still don't know the answer to that I can't. I You're going to be in the conversation. Don't worry. We would, I was just. Yeah, we have a property. I, I want to share it with her. I think we should both have it. All right. Because I don't know if I'd be there as much as you would. Yeah. No, but like. I don't want to live there permanently because I just want to be an internet star and Wi-Fi is just like. It's iffy. iffy. So I just feel like. So. You know. It's not a very smart decision and it takes a lot of time to. Well, also with storms you could not have internet for like weeks on end and i then i can't post videos and i, I don't drive and who knows if i will drive at that point or you ever have to drive in a four wheel you cannot like yeah i'll probably never drive to town because i shouldn't be taught to uh, trust with town is treacherous like the road is terrible i should not be you everybody carries machetes because sometimes randomly you have to chop down a tree and i would not mm -hmm. i should not be trusted with machete so Machetes are fun. I don't know. I'm scared of knives. I really am. I don't You like are. Them. Like, I'll give you a butter knife. Like, I'll have a butter knife in my hand, and she'll freak out because I'm holding it, like, I feel giving like, it to her. I feel like when it's on the floor or anything, it just, or anything nearby, I'm afraid, like, it's going to cut me, and, like, someone's going to come in and murder me or something. I don't know. I just, it, it's scary. I, yeah, like, she found one of my knives in my bathroom, and she's like, you shouldn't have this in your bathroom. I'm like, why not? And she's like, someone like me could come in and not know it's a knife. I'm like, Audrey, there's not kids in my room all the time. And someone could come in when you're sleeping and murder you with it. It's a good weapon. There's a reason why I don't keep them. Like, I keep them, like, one under my pillow at night. That's even creepier. It's not. But what if the pillow breaks open and... That's not going to happen if it's sheathed. It's not going to do anything. As you can tell, I'm scared of knives. <laughs> I had the best idea. I could have gummy bears climbing up the tree. Yes, I told oh you my these were very God, worth our... that was amazing. I told you having Christmas things were better than sour. The sour ones are still... I, I love sour candy, by the way. But this isn't for eating. This is totally for decoration. We don't eat any of this. No, we don't. I'm, unfortunately. I can't have food coloring. I can't have gluten. I can't have dairy. And... So, I pretty much, this is all for decoration. So, like, this food coloring will never be eaten. Oh, it just sits there. Oh, my gosh. You, you do not want to feed this child food coloring. Yeah, it's not a good idea. It's so bad. Yeah, when I was, like, probably 13, we went to the grocery store, and they had a red velvet cupcake. Maybe I was, like, 12, between 12 and 14. About that age, yeah. And we went to the grocery store, and my mom got me a red velvet cupcake. That was a horrible plan, because then... Because I could go by my... I, I typically put myself to bed. She went nuts. I, and I was, like, running up the side, and my parents had to put me to yeah. bed like a child. Like, I was, like, six. It was bad. Okay. And meanwhile, I was just chilling. I was just kind of like, well... How do your friends feel about, do you ever have, have you ever had bad experience with friends telling them? Have you ever had to not be friends with someone because they were, or someone made fun of it or anything? Have you ever had someone be mean about it? Um, not directly autism specifically, but like when I was in school, 
it was just kind of like using words like oh you're so retarded and stuff like that and it, it wasn't comfortable but at the same time it was just kind of like an R -word squirrel. they most likely don't know what it means or where it came from they went to a private there, school so. for people with learning disabilities this was not that private school this was when i went to is i went to a, a public school is that better yeah i went to a public school um so but i am still homeschooled public schools suck <laughs> Were they making fun of me or you? No, nobody. Oh. Like, they were just making fun of their friends and, like, good fun. Yeah, using the R word, the M word, being an ableist is not a good look on anybody. But it kind of, like, it's awkward because when I was at... Uh... Editing Andre here, I don't know why I said the N word had anything to do with being ableist. I was, I probably didn't even, I was probably just laming words you should not be saying. That was probably it, but... Just ignore that part. Um, when I was doing chem and physics, we were talking about our siblings. Or, I mean, chemistry, sorry. When we were in chemistry, we were talking about siblings. And um, we were talking about how siblings pick up stuff from us. And I'm a very sarcastic person. And she's picked that up from me. Mm -hmm. And so we were talking about that. And then they were like, oh, how old is your sister? Like, they didn't say that directly. And I was like, oh, she's 20. And I was like, oh, but she's autistic. And so it kind of made it uncomfortable for them for a little bit, I think, just because they don't really know that much about it. Yeah, that's why I kind of want to educate and make it more normal because it's really hard being on the level one or high functioning. I think function labels are ridiculous. They should not exist um, because I don't function like a normal neurotypical human. You act, you look like one to the normal person. And so it really bites me in the butt a lot socially. Yeah, because I'm socially people think you're just weird. I don't think that. I just think I say mean things and they don't yeah, get it. Yeah, they don't get it. And then they expect like, me to be this certain way and then I say something that could be a... My hand is shaking. You okay? I'm okay. It happens a lot. I know. I'm just... I don't like that either. I, I just... I don't want people to feel bad for me that things have to happen a lot. I'm... I don't know, I just- I feel bad for everybody, regardless. I don't know, I want- I like, you know, I obviously talk about autism, and I may have a YouTube channel about it, but I don't want people to, like, think of me any different. I just want to be treated like a normal human, and ne not necessarily, like, I want to blend in, but not really. I want to be myself, but I just don't want, you know- You want to be- not looked at and stared at as weird or labeled as weird. Is that really, what you're I, getting at? I don't want it just to label me as the autistic girl. And I don't think that will ever happen. Obviously, I want this to be my job, talking about autism. So it's kind of a weird idea. Like, I don't want... You just don't want the pity. I don't want the pity, yeah. I just want to be treated normally like all the other 20-year-olds, even though I am different and even though my life is different. Okay, we're going to do another question. What is the biggest difference you saw comparing your family to all other neurotypical people? So this actually reminded me of um, a time where I spent a week in, with my friend. And she was like hanging out with her brother and all that. And I'm like, is this how normal siblings act? Because like I'd never really had that kind of like what people considered normal sibling behavior. And so I was like blown away. And I like asked her, it's like, is this how you guys normally act? She's like, yeah, of course, we're siblings. I'm like, it was like, my mind was blown at that point. And Our relationship is very different than the typical older younger sister. It definitely was more off different when we were younger. But I think as I've gotten older, it's, it, it's it levels, off. It levels off, it switches. So like, I was more the younger sister growing up. She helped took care of me. She took up a caregiver role. And that's not what normal siblings do. Um, so it was different. Um, and she didn't have to do that. She felt the need to no, do that. Yeah, I just felt like I had to, it, like at that time. And like looking back, I'm like, you didn't have to. Audrey was not starving. She wasn't like in the worst <laughs> position possible. Also, it was very different because the way we treated each other was differently than other siblings. Yeah. Oh, and remember I, that time when you and I went to the airport together and we were going to Momo's? Yeah, I, I think also since she is a different race, I think it also had a, a big part. I think if we looked similar, I think she would have thought differently. I think it was slightly a little bit racist. Person? Me? No, the person who said it. Oh, well, we didn't. Say, we haven't told them what the person said yet. So they asked if, like, I'm your, because I, 
we were together and apparently I guess I looked older even though I was like significantly younger than mm -hmm. her at the time and she's like oh you must be your caretaker and at that time I was like should I say that I'm not and it's also kind of ableist thinking I need a caretaker too there's a lot of parts to it so there's definitely been weird situations that and also her being a different race plays a part in it um but I think also people know our relationship is different like my friends who have siblings have a very different they more hang out together as friends. Ellie does a lot of um, help roles, but she also, we hang out as friends. Oh no, we, we hang out. But like she helps me clean in sometimes. She helps me put stuff together. Or, uh, I help you with your bed. Yeah, cause I can't make my bed. Like I can, but oh, it's, it doesn't go very well. I mean, I like just recently, not recently, but like it took me a long time to learn how to tie my shoes. Like. I still can't tie my shoes. So I think the, the weird part of our relationship is the caregiver, more um, older sibling. Like our roles switch all the time. Like, yeah. like most people have like a solid younger, older sister, brother. Um, dynamic. Dynamic. But ours switch all the time depending on the needs of both of us. Yeah. So like one time I was helping uh, her walk a dog. And it started like thunderstorming and getting really scary. And at that point I was freaking out because I do not like thunder. I just don't like the noise of it. And so I was like freaking out and she's, she took over the big sister role there. But for the most part, it just switches depending on what, like the needs of us basically. But it's often more younger than older with a real, like a different stage of life dynamic yeah. because I did move out. It's definitely not the typical moving out scenario. No. Like, most people end up far away from their parents, um, don't require so much help, um, but it is different. I just got through editing most of it, so I ended up cutting the outro. I'm just kind of want to sit here, talk to you guys for a minute, so there was a lot of more footage that I had. I had, like, over an hour of footage. I tried to cut it down as much as possible, so, um... I think next time we do do this, we'll do a more concise just Q&A so we can really cover um, the actual stuff that's going on. So I hope you guys enjoyed. Ellie really enjoyed coming on and she would love to do it again. So leave any videos you wanted to see us do. Comment it down below. I'm going to show, show you guys a B-roll of the gingerbread houses. <laughs>